Hi, welcome back for the next uh, video in our series here with the John Deere 125 automatic. Um, today we are preparing for winter by putting on our uh, 42 inch snowblower. When I uh, picked this snowblower up I had no idea if it would actually work with my tractor or not and I could not find any information out there. Even the dealerships were a little sketchy as to if it would work or not with the John Deere 125. Well, I can assure you that it does work. It works awesome. We used it for the first time last winter. It worked great. Um, some things we had to do to prep our tractor the first year is we had to purchase these, these brackets right here. There's one on each side. Um, the number here is GX H24761. That's the, the bracket for the left side of the tractor. And that simply attaches with some, with some bolts onto your tractor. So there's one of those on each side. In addition to that, if we look underneath here, we had to put this bolt in right here. And that allows the um, mule drive to attach to that, which we'll show in a little bit. Um, the John Deere website is great. You can check that out for all the part numbers and the specifications on all, all these parts. So uh, check, check that out. All right, we are ready to get started with mounting the snowblower. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these pins from the snowblower. Set them over here. That'll be in all the way there. You will We'll put them right up here on the tractor so we don't lose track of them and we don't kick them out of the way. So we're going to do that on both sides. And then I'm going to slide this a little bit closer to the tractor. And then I'll explain Hey, careful, you're gonna get stuck. Alright, so if you come over here, there's a little pin right here on, on the snow thrower, and that needs to slide into this location right here. Then, once that's in position, the pins that we just removed will go through this hole here and into this hole here and lock it into place. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull the belt down into place. Okay, and this you're just going to want to have about like that, underneath the tractor, out of the way. And next, we are going to use some blocks of wood to help prop up the tractor or the snow thrower attachment so we're closer to where we need to be height wise. So, what we've been doing here is we've just been adding blocks so we don't have to lift this thing and we've been just working this back and forth. So as you can see now, there's our light. You see this side? This side we are almost engaging. Let's get this in. So I'm going to just lift it on the front. Oh, it's almost done. Yeah, can we? This light's flickering. Oh. Alright, ready? 
Alright, I'm almost there. Almost there. Oh, I'm in dead. No! Did it go? There we go. Alright. So it appears the trick is to be lifting on the front. And then pushing down. Lifting on up on the front and uh, making sure both sides go in at the same time. All right, so that is the part that you need the muscle for. And you might also want a helper. Definitely have a helper for that. Now we are going to try to get our blocks of wood on here. Let's see here. We can get. No, don't take those out yet. Put them back. In. The next part is to get those pins in. And I'm going to have Jake here. Where's with me? Jake, where's that light? Um. Right here. Okay, Jake, you come over on this side. We're going to do one side at a time. I'm going to lift up on the front of the snow thrower, and as soon as that hole lines up, you push that in. Okay. Okay, and you might have to wiggle it back and forth like that. Okay. Okay. Tell me when it's lining up. It's almost there. A little more. There you go. Push there it in. Is. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead. Come over to the other side. There's the hole. All right. Oh, this one's. We gotta go more. Keep going. There we go. There we go. So. Uh, okay. So the hard part is now done. Pull our blocks out. And then this. Yes. And then we will. Our pin in. I thought you. Where's the blood? We'll slide the pins in and then we will be ready to go to the next step. Alright, so here we have the mule drive and I just want to go over a little bit of the belt, the belt routing with you. This is the belt that attaches to the drive, drive pulley of the tractor right in the center there. So that pulley will be right here and, and this belt is going to run in like that. Then we are going to route our PTO cable to hook to the bottom of this. We're going to route it through here and it's going to connect to the bottom of this. So when the PTO is engaged it's going to push that pulley in here and it's going to cause this to start spinning which is going to drive the belt below. All right so that's uh, that's how this kind of works. Now we've got two pins here that are holding this in place. Uh, we lost a pin or it didn't come with, we got this used, so we had to improvise there and here. So we're going to pop these off. And I think actually it might make sense to connect this up first before we're, we have that underneath the, the tractor. So let's. Uh, Let's take this around to the other side and let's see if we can do that. I can't remember if we had to we had to take one of these out last year. No, we put it. I think we had to take this out. So right here, in order to get enough 
slack in our cable. We had to undo the cable from, from right up there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We might not be able to do this beforehand. It was easy to do it after. Last time I just did it wrong. Alright, let's uh let's get this underneath here. Yeah, maybe we can do it. I think we can do it. I'm gonna go to the other side. We're going to need some light over there. Okay. Anyway. Probably. All right. We're going to start with this. We're going to start with this spring. So, right underneath here, there, there's a little, right in here, there's a little thing sticking down, so I just pulled the, the spring end up over that hole, and then I'm going to slide this back into the hole to secure that into place. Make sure my spring is still in position. There it goes. Okay. There we go. Now that's locked into place. So next is if we have enough cable. Yeah, we'll have enough. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this like so. I can't quite get that up through here. There we go. All right, so I think we got a good view for you here. This is attached to the spring. So what we need to do is we need to pull on this. We're gonna let it slide into position here. And then we're gonna put this pin back into place to lock it. And I gotta get my flashlight so I can see that hole. That is right there. Okay, so now that's locked into place, that can't move. So now we are going to slide this up into position. So you line... Is, th is this okay with being inside of here? We, we will uh, want that to be... Outside? Outside, so we'll go down like that. Here is the the slot that that's going to go on. You're going to want the washers to be on the outside. So Jake, if you are able... Wait, on the outside? The like up, up should against be towards the tractor? You. Nope. Okay. The washer should be towards you. Yeah, I think that's good. This washer is kind of getting in my way. Are you lined up over there or not? Um, I have to go down a little. Oh, this has to go up over here. Um, now it just has to go forward. 
Uh, can't film and do this at the same time. Is he in? We kind of need to get both of them at the same time. So, you get the idea with the camera. We're going to put the camera down and we're going to get this into place um, with two, two people. And then we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Alright, so we have it. We have it up and mounted. And it's just resting in position right now. Just slide a pin through there and then secure that into place. And once that's in there, that's not gonna go anywhere. And so we will go around to the other side and do the same thing. Now that shifted on me a little bit. I'm line my hole back up. It's kind of tricky getting those holes to line up. I wonder if I can come through that way. Does that work? That works. Let's just do that. All right, so that is locked in to position. All right, so now we're gonna attach the top pulley assembly. Like I showed before, the pulley is on the inside of this idler here. So we're gonna bring this up and around, like so. We're gonna do the same on the other side. And then we're going to work that into this master pulley there. Okay, so that's on. Alright, now we're ready for the snow thrower belt. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, there's a spring here. Okay, we're going to push that back and we're going to get the belt around this first pulley and then it's going to go on this side of that the 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 idler and then we work the belt up around that one now let's see I almost got it. I not the best lighting here. I'm just slowly turning this to work that belt onto this, this pulley and there she goes. All right. So now, We are all set to go there. This right here is your, your tension tensioner for the snow thrower belt. If you need to adjust that, you, you can. Oh, ours might be a little tight, that was... There, okay. I hear the snow thrower moving when I move the belt. That's a good thing. Let's go look at it. Yep. I will move the belt. Yep. It's working. Okay. Oh, I didn't get that in the video. It was same going, so. There we go. So that's on. All right, so the other thing we have left here is this spring. needs to be tensioned through this other uh, like chain link thing. So I'm gonna try to get this on. Ah. 
And this would have been better to have on before installing on the tractor, but we missed that. There we go. If I can get my hand out of here now. So, you just want to keep, keep some tension. That there's a pin on the inside. Yep, I know it. And I'm trying to decide. Yeah, we had a pin on both sides to keep it from going either way. This one didn't really need to be tight, right? No, this one you don't want too tight because oh, th this, this one is the one that makes the PTO easier. Yeah, prob probably. So, so we want this belt to be loose so it doesn't engage. And you want that to be tight, tight so it's easier to engage the PTO. So we're going to go about right there. If we can get this in there. Let's check that belt. That belt still still seems like it's moving. And we had a pin on both sides of this. Probably to keep this from falling out. So I think that worked loose for some reason with the vibrations last year. See what I was doing. All right, there we go. All right, so there we have it. I think we're uh, where's, where's the thing that moves? Oh, did the flashlights in there? <laughs> <laughs> Could you get it up on the way? Yeah. It was, it was on. All right. Let's fire it up and see what happens. So there you have it, installing a snow thrower on a John Deere 125 automatic. We are now ready for winter. We are hopeful that this video was useful for you. Please like and subscribe.